Hi everyone, I'm Crystal and welcome to Hobby UAV. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about flying pancakes. So what in the world is a flying pancake? Why should you care and why would this crazy lady shut up about them? Well, let's start off with a little history. In the 1930s, Charles H. Zimmerman was a well-known aeronautical engineer who advocated for the idea of discoidal aircraft or flying discs, which came to be known as the Zimmer Skimmer or flying pancake. He wasn't the only engineer working on the idea around the same time, but his design featured large artboard props which were unique to his design. He began with a large-scale electric-powered model shown here, and the Navy was so impressed by the model that they commissioned him to build a full-scale version for testing. Designated the V-173 Flying Pancake, it was built out of wood and canvas and powered by 80-horsepower Continental Motor. Test flights were very successful in demonstrating the aircraft's very short takeoff and landing capabilities, as well as showing wingtip mounted propellers could be used to cancel drag inducing wingtip vortices by spinning the props in the opposite direction. After the testing of the V 173, the Navy commissioned a development version known as the Vought XF5U 1. A prototype was built, but due to vibration problems from the complex gearing needed and long propeller shafts, the project quickly became over budget and behind schedule. In March 1947, the Navy finally canceled the project, mostly because the U.S. was entering the jet age and propeller-driven aircraft simply could not compete. I first made this version, which ended up not working too well because the servos and KK boards control loops were just too slow. I was able to get it to hover for short amounts of time, but it would quickly devolve into wild oscillations. After looking around for a faster control board, I came upon the mini bicopter project at RC Explorer. I purchased their tilt mechanism and a couple of their servos that feature a, a feedback connection, which I have felt for a while would be a very important feature given my previous experience with the first prototype. Combined with faster servo pulses, plus the D-Shot protocol used on the ESCs and servo feedback and a much faster 32-bit processor, this greatly increased the speed of the entire control loop and made hovering very stable and easy to control. Okay, that was interesting, so next let's check out some flight videos. And right about here is where I crapped my pants because I had lost control of it. Luckily I was able to put it back into hover mode and bring it back in for a safe landing.
Okay, let's talk a little bit about why I think it's such a cool aircraft design. Um, what needs to be improved for uh, future iterations and um, where we're going from there. Um, basically, what makes it such a great airplane is number one, um, it has a very sleek profile which is capable of going very fast but also because the um, propellers basically blanket a large portion of the wing it gives it some special abilities as far as maneuverability goes and also at high alpha flight um, this particular aircraft is perfectly happy flying around at a high 45 degree angle attack like that at uh, very slow speeds for a conventional aircraft that's gaining lift uh, by using the uh, airfoil and not just flying off the propellers. It also hovers extremely well. So there's really no other aircraft that has all those in combination. Um, one thing that helps it to, to fly around at high angle attacks is when it's tilted up, the, the propellers are actually pushing the air down the top of the uh, airfoil um, instead of in, in a conventional aircraft where it's just uh, the wing in free air, which is much more likely to uh, induce a stall. Um, so as far as a, a, a future iteration of the aircraft, I'm going to be putting on elevons on the next um, iteration, um, and I feel that will help to control um, things much better in high-speed forward flight. Um, it'll probably look much like the uh, V-173 aircraft with some uh, ele elevons coming off the rear. Um, I've already drawn up in CAD which I will show you and um, we'll probably be laser cutting the um, parts tonight at my local makerspace. Um, anyways, uh, thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and please hit like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye!